I want to live. <laughs> you know, I want to live. You know, I want to live as well as I can for as long as I can. The endless will to live drives each of these dialysis patients at the Fresenius Medical Services Center in downtown Washington, D.C. I knew, I knew nothing about kidney failure. I all went down to one. We have to start teaching people, particularly people who have diseases like diabetes that can lead to kidney disease, and explain to them early on how important it is to take care of them. That's one thing doctors say isn't happening. Education. Telling the millions of people who have diabetes or high blood pressure at a young age that kidney failure is a real possibility and has to change the way they live. Dr. Ann Thompson should know. She's on the front line trying to treat some of the 400,000 Americans who are on dialysis. In this day and age of see as many patients as you can in medicine, Dr. Thompson is an exception. She sits down and talks with each of her patients. She blames a lack of education in part for the skyrocketing number of cases of end stage kidney failure. If you want the patients to live, and as a matter of fact, my mortality rate here is, is less than half the national average. And you want the patients to have quality of life, not just quantity, not just the existing. You want them to be able to go out and enjoy the rest of their lives. You see, most dialysis patients nationwide are on Medicare. And therein, patient advocates say, lies another problem the dollars and cents of it all. Caregivers warning Medicare isn't providing the money necessary to continue this level of care. But we're quite concerned that relying on Medicare and Medicaid combined reimbursements could possibly, in the not too distant future, be an access, create an access to care problem um, for patients who need dialysis. And we certainly don't want to see a situation get to that point. The Kidney Care Coalition has worked with lawmakers on a bill that is being introduced in Congress this week. It's a measure they say could solve both the education problem and the impending funding issues of this dialysis dilemma. That part of our report tomorrow night. In Washington, John Lieberman, New Century.